Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brooke and today I am super excited to do this tutorial. It is a Halloween tutorial and if you haven't guessed it, it is Wonder Woman. This is a very easy costume to pull off. You could do this last minute. I made this um, breastplate, this crown, and these cuffs all out of construction paper and paint. So very easy, very affordable, and I just put my um, red tank top on and you could pair this with some blue leggings or some dark denim jeans and some boots and then there you go, there's your costume. So yeah, super easy and I think it's pretty cute and I really like the makeup look. It's pretty simple and basic but you have a really nice bright red lip. So if you're curious to see how I did this, just keep watching. So I've already applied my foundation and concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. And today I'm just going to be working out of Urban Decay's Original Naked Palette. But you can use any similar colors, any brand will work with this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first color I'm going to use is Naked. And it's just like this. It's a light brown color. A little bit darker than my skin tone. And I'm just going to blend that in the crease just to kind of define the eye. And kind of work with it going up just a little bit but you don't want to go all the way up to where your eyebrow is just above your crease slightly so you should have something that looks similar to that then I'm gonna go in with the color buck which is a little bit of a darker brown it's more of like a medium tone and I'm gonna focus that on the outside edges just to intensify it just a little bit just like that just a little bit and since her Wonder Woman has a lot of gold I'm going to incorporate some gold into the eyeshadow so the eyeshadow I'm going to use is Half Baked right here it's just a beautiful gold color. Place that right here just on the lid. Not going into the crease at all, just right here on the main part of the lid. And a little bit on the inner tear duct, just a little. Like that. Again, just placing it on the lid itself. And then I'm going to take a highlight. I'm going to take Virgin, which is right here. And I'm just going to take Virgin and I'll place it top. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to put that right underneath my eyebrow so along the brow bone and then a little bit on the inner tear duct area just to kind of open that up see the difference Okay, so now for the eyeliner, I am going to use NYC's Liquid Liner. And it's a good liner, really cheap. And I'm just going to use that on the top lash line. 
And for me, it's just easier to start in the middle and work my way to the inner corner, but whatever works for you. Just make sure that your line, your eyeliner starts out thin and as it's going out towards the corner, it's getting thicker. So thin to thick, if that makes sense. And then I like to turn my brush like this to do my point or my wing. before I finish the last wing I kind of go back and make sure they're even on each side like this one's a little bit shorter than this one so I'll just make this one a little bit longer so they so they match then I'm going to take a white eyeliner and just line my lower waterline And this will just brighten up the look even more. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did my mascara. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows because Wonder, Ro Wonder Woman has really nice, thick, dark eyebrows. So, in order to achieve that, I am going to use BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio Kit. Which is awesome. I use this regularly because it's just... You got a mirror and then three different pow well, two powders and like a gel powder. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And I just go in first um, with the wax to define them and then I fill in whatever areas that are sparse with the powder. And I actually really like the brush that comes with it too. And it's got a nice smear in it. And then I'm just going to go in with the powder and just fill in some areas. Can you see the difference your eyebrows make? They make a huge difference. So I'll finish the other eyebrow and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my brows and I'm just going to put on a little bit of highlighter. And I'm just going to use this one by e.l.f. It's their baked highlighter. It's they have beautiful highlighters. I think they're only like $3 too. It's awesome. This one I'm going to use is Blush Gems. And I'm just going to use my fingers. Put just a little bit down my nose. A little bit on my Cupid's bow. And just a little bit right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a matte bronzer by NYX. This is an awesome bronzer because there's no shimmer. It's just, like it says, matte. And this one's in medium. And I'm just going to take a flat angled kabuki brush. This will just warm up the face a little. I 
Again, you don't have to do all these steps. These are just steps I would do. And it's Halloween, so you want to go all out. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to go right under here just to give my lips a little bit more of a pout. And get rid of that turkey neck, that double chin. I hate it. And then just drag it down a little bit. And normally I would put some on my temples, but if we're wearing a crown, there's not really a point. So, maybe I'll do a little bit of my nose. Okay, so that's it for the bronzer by Tarte Cosmetics, and it's in the color Peaceful, and yes, I've hit pan on this. It is so beautiful. I love this color. And their blushes are very long lasting. I'm just going to focus this a little bit on my the apples of my cheeks, just a little, just to give us some color. Because we are going to put some red lipstick on, so we don't want it to be too overpowering. So I'm going to use three lip products to get this red lip today. And since it's Halloween, you want your makeup to last longer. And using a lip liner is going to help your lipstick stay longer and it's also going to help as a barrier around your lips so that your lipstick won't smear out and you don't look like a hot mess walking around with lipstick all over you know so you'll want to get a red liner and I'm just using one by elf it's just a regular cherry red color so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips So after you have it lined the way you want, go ahead and take your favorite red lipstick and I'm just going to use this one by BH Cosmetics and it's called Tiamo. Just looks like that. Just a really pretty bright cherry red. You could leave your lips like this, but I want to add a little dazzle to it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of red lip gloss by, let's see, this one is by Be A Bomb Shell, and it's in the color Hot Mess. And just make it a little shinier. And this is just the finished makeup look. So as far as the makeup goes, this is the finished look. I did make this crown and this thing that I'll put on later, you'll see. Or maybe it'll be at the beginning of the video that you'll see it. Just to go right here for one Wonder Woman's little, like, I don't know what you call it, breastplate or whatever. And then I did make um, some cuffs. I have to put them together though, but these are the cuffs. And guys, all this is is construction, it's actually scrapbook paper, but you can use construction paper. I just cut it, this, that's what the crown is. Construction paper, I painted it gold, and I just put red stars on it. That is it. It's super simple. You don't even have to go out to the costume store and buy this stuff. You can just make it at home. And it didn't take me very long at all. So um, if you're interested to learn how I made these, I will leave the link down below to my blog. And that will just go into better detail how I made them. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out my blog. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye.